Let me read you a little something here. Whoever walks with the wise will become wise. Whoever walks with fools will suffer harm. That's Proverbs 13:20, and that Bible verse is the inspiration behind a local program designed to help steer minorities on Delmarva to college and a successful career. And get this, the program has been led by the same man for 42 years. His name is John Hollis, and you may recognize him as a Jefferson Award winner recently. Well, today we recognize him as a Delmarva treasure. What, what we do is the, the merit kids join. The pages in this and several other scrapbooks document more than four decades of changing lives through an academic enrichment program called Merit. The idea came from engineers at the Seaford DuPont plant back in 1974. At the time, John Hollis was a teacher and a coach at Seaford High School. Well, they approached me about organizing originally what was called a science club and it was part of the National Advisory Council for Minorities in Engineering. Since then, MERIT, which stands for Minority Educational Regional Incentive Training, has been providing academic enrichment and college preparatory opportunities for minority students from the greater Seaford area and across Sussex County. But as founder and director of MERIT, Hollis modestly directs the credit to others. One of the key ingredients to success has been some phenomenal people. One of those people is Dr. Ben Carson. So through a, a number of wonderful unplanned circumstances, I got a private audience with Dr. Carson, explained what I had in mind, and uh, he agreed to come. And he told me later uh, he agreed to come. One of the reasons was I invited his entire family. In fact, Carson's three sons ended up participating in Merritt's summer program, earning their Maryland community service hours each summer. And Ben become, became fascinated with the, the concept of merit, where we help kids prepare for the SAT, we, we get them involved in specific uh, formulated goal setting, uh, we bring in motivational aspects, but we also deal with science. Hollis says many of the volunteers for merit are engineers, such as Scott Davison. We're just blessed that, for instance, Mr. Davidson and the team of Delmar engineers put on this engineering science competition and it's just that they've done everything from build catapults to parachutes to hydroelectric cars, they've flown drones, they've programmed robotic vehicles. Uh, so what the kids tell us after they graduate from Merit and go on to college that these experiences are sort of above and beyond what they get in school are very, very helpful. Hollis says 370 Merritt alumni have gone on to achieve a college degree. That's about 97%. He adds many of those graduates come back to give back. Well, having gone 42 years, one of the advantages of having so many alumni is they can feed back what worked for them, what didn't. So we have a very, very strong alumni component. That feedback has also fueled the constant evolution of the program. Alla says early on, they realized parental involvement was key to success. You know, parents are the first and foremost teachers of young people. And we talk about the six and a half hours of the school day a lot, but there's really 23 other hours that, that impact the child's life. As for Hollis's involvement in the program, it's fair to wonder why he's remained committed to merit for more than 40 years. People ask me often, uh, particularly at my advancing age and so forth, well, you know, why do you do it? And my answer is, and, and you've been here on a Saturday, you just come watch it, what happens Saturday. It's, uh, it's not the, the adult leadership as much as it is what, what they get from the kids. And John says he can't imagine his life being any other way. I think the passion that I have had for many years um, has been in coaching and in athletics. I don't view merit too much different, except the playing field is the classroom. So essentially, I look at merit as uh, uh, a, an ability to coach uh, some outstanding young people.
and what a coach he is. During that interview, Hollis would fire off name after name of merit students who went on to colleges and universities, including many who obtained degrees from Yale, Howard, Princeton, and Virginia Tech. They now have fabulous careers in medicine, engineering, and even law. And what's really neat about it is most of them have come back to, as he said, to help out Merritt. To, to strengthen Merritt even more. Yeah. John um, hired my wife to teach in Seabird, gosh, I guess 17, 18 years ago. Yeah. And what a privilege it is to know this man and just spend time with him. Something that amazes me every time I talk to him, it can be on the telephone, it can be in person, just run into him somewhere. Regardless of how you're feeling at the time, regardless of your mood, maybe it's a good day, maybe it's, he has the innate ability to make you feel better about yourself before he says, see you later. Yeah. Well, one of their, one of their uh, sayings is touch greatness reaching out to greatness, touching greatness, and and he feels that way about everyone he meets. You're great. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. We need to be more like him. Thank you for bringing that. Thank you for doing that. <laughs>